Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Good Times for All, or Zachary Zabal, if you prefer. In this video, we will take a look at the right hand rule and our realm. To start off, I would like to say that there are three different types of right hand rule when it comes to the dance we observe between electricity and magnetism. They describe how the two manipulate each other when certain circumstances are presented. We will focus on Ampere's right hand rule as it is the one that most relates to this place we live in, in my opinion. It was discovered that once a current of electricity starts flowing through a wire, a rotating magnetic field will surround it. As Ampere described it, he used the face of a clock for his analogy. Imagine you are the electricity traveling through a wire and flowing directly towards the center of a clock. The magnetic field will rotate the same direction as the hands of the clock, or clockwise. Interestingly enough, you can use your right hand with your thumb pointing out and your finger making a fist, similar to the international sign for hitchhiking. Your thumb points in the same direction as the electricity is flowing, and your fingers curve in the same path that the magnetic field rotates around that current. So if we take what we know about electricity and magnetism and look for similarities in the world around us, some things start lining up quite nicely. We know that we have a potential difference of electricity between the sky above and the ground below. We have a positive above and a negative charge below our feet. This means we would take our right hand and point it down towards the ground as that is the way the current is flowing. We can look up into the sky at any given moment and draw similarities with the magnetic rotation to the luminaries above. All motion in the sky moves from east to west or in the same direction that your fingers are circling when pointing your right thumb down towards the earth. Now I am not saying that this is absolutely how the right hand rule applies to the world around us, but these are just a few connections I have made while looking into the laws of electricity. This place is a puzzle beyond no other, and I feel this is a piece that should not be overlooked while trying to put it all together. This is Good Times for All here, signing out. As always, thanks for watching.